Today I'm going to be showing you how to organize your binder for school or for work and some life hacks along the way. So first I have my binder. I just have a two ringed binder because I couldn't find a three ringed binder. And to begin with, I'm just doing the front cover and I wanted to keep it simple and so that I could change it up and use it for other things. So I'm just using these kind of speech bubble whiteboard labels and they are awesome because you just write on them with a whiteboard marker and then you can just rub them off when you want to change up what you're going to use your binder for. They are really really cool. So first I'm going to show you how I design my binder holders and separators and I use this amazing website that I've recently discovered called Graphic Stock. It's graphicstock.com and I will put it in the description below. This is the most amazing website and I actually use it for editing too and all of the images are royalty free and literally you can search anything as you will see me doing and find whatever you want. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And this is perfect for school projects and university work and if you're a teacher then this is just a dream come true. And you get to choose how you download it. So as you can see, I'm downloading a few things and I'm using PNG for most of them. And I just found this gorgeous background that I wanted to use for my binder dividers. So I've just taken that. And if you guys have seen my previous video like this one, you would see how I do this better. So I'll link that below. But I'm just taking PowerPoint and I'm creating my binder design, my divider design. And I'm doing this one for English. Now this is something I came up with by myself, so feel free to use this idea, but I need to be organized in the job that I'm in. So I'm taking these sticky notes I got from Graphic Stock and just creating a kind of today's memos thing. And you'll see how I use this in a second when I put it all together. So I'm just going back onto Graphic Stock and I searched lined note paper and hello, of course, hundreds pop up, so I've chosen one and I'm creating little square bullet points, if you will, and you will see how I use this, but it's a lifesaver. Like I did in my previous binder video, I'm just taking my divider design and sticking it onto my dividers. So I'm just using double-sided sticky tape because that leaves less bubbles and it's really, really easy. Of course, you're going to want to hole punch through your design and your divider so just turn it over and it makes it so much easier and place it inside your binder and you can do this for all of your binder dividers if you want. Now for my favorite part, the organization and this is going to be my dashboard. So I've taken the today's memos thing that I created using graphic stock and I'm going to stick that onto the left side of my binder so you can see it when you first open it and I've actually laminated this as you saw previously and so I can write on it with a whiteboard marker so you can use this every day to remind yourself of things you need to do and this has literally saved my life it's a must if you have never heard of doing this before I came up with it myself but I'm sure it's been done before I just use this every day and also use one for every subject as well it's so helpful now for the other side of my dashboard, I'm just taking double sided sticky tape and just putting it randomly on a spare binder divider and I'm taking sticky memo notes. These are amazing. I found them at Dazo or Daiso and they're little pencils and you literally stick them on your study notes or the notes that you need for work and remind yourself about certain bits in particular. This is another one of my organization hacks or binder hacks using a peg and I've stuck that on and then any notes you need for that day in particular, you just peg it on in and it's just amazing. Such a great organization tip, honestly, and I love this dashboard and I'm gonna keep on adding to it. Just like my previous organization video, I'm taking an A5 clear wallet and I just cut holes in it and placed it in the back of my binder to keep some bits and bobs in. And there you have it guys, as requested. If you would like to see more, let me know. And remember your free seven day trial on graphic stock. It's amazing. I hope you guys like this. Until next time.